Hey guys, tell me if this letter sounds all right. Dear Reek Publishing, I was highly disappointed by your erotic novel. Here's what I would have wrote. It was past midnight when the blonde, smoking hot lab assistant, who looked a little like Heather Locklear, only with bigger jugs, was grabbed and thrown onto the lab table. He ripped off her lab coat and she grabbed his metallic extension. Oh, did I mention he was a robot? Because that's kind of important. Yeah, a robot. Awesome. Whoa, that is hot. I gotta get a copy of that. Yeah, you got some serious talent there, Peter. Really? I'm no school administrator, but there's an extension program going on in my trousers. And then Captain Leroy Hot Dog Zanzibar and Gina from my work got in the backseat of his really cool spaceship. Gina was finally wearing that tank top I got her and nothing else. Zanzibar knew he couldn't control his space horniness any longer, and then they totally did it. And if I'd have been there, I would have been like, Aw, oh, sweet. Hey, what do you think? You certainly do paint a picture, Peter. I felt like I was right there on planet Neptune. You're not the only one. Everyone down at the bar wanted a copy. Wow, maybe you should think about publishing it. Hey, if you ask Daddy, he might even give you some money to do it yourself. That's a great idea, Lois. I'll talk to him tomorrow. If this works out, I could make more money than when I had that rat farm in the basement. Armando, do you have the rent? We're trying, Senor Griffin, but the land, she gives us nothing. There is no sunlight. It's been two months, Armando. You're putting me in a real awkward position here. Oh, please, Senor Griffin, just one more week. I will pay you double. Perhaps we can work out another arrangement. Oh, please, Senor, not my beloved. Armando, Armando... It is for the children. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yes, Neil. Yes. I... Yes. <laughs>